Okay, as you can see, this is very light and easy to carry, totally portable, weighs less than your lunchbox. Okay, this is a little instruction video on the new ammo can, phase angle, amplitude, and power quality meter. You can see it's built into a 50 caliber ammo case that keeps the cost down while it's providing ruggedness. Got the lid here. Turn it up. You can close and latch the lid and it seals it against moisture or anything like that. And that's what it looks like. Okay, I have an Epic connected to this to demonstrate how it works. First thing I'm going to do is uh, V1, I1. Okay, what this is measuring is measuring the voltage connected to the V1 input and the current connected to the uh, I1 input. Right now I have uh, two amps and uh, the Epic is a little high, it puts out 2.001 and it puts out about 120.14 volts when it says 120. So you can see it reads that. It's the angle is set at 30. You see it reads 30.06. It calculates, plays the watts, vars, power factor. And unique to phase angle meters, since this is a very fast processor, uh, able to base the whole thing on a fast Fourier transform, a, a, a special Vernon algorithm that I developed, that not only gives you the phase angle and the amplitudes to a very high degree of precision, but also the harmonic distortion. If I touch power quality, you can see I have the individual harmonics over here, the second through the seventh. Right now the distortion is very low, so they kind of roll a little bit of aliasing rolling through there, but at one, two, three percent distortion, it can be calibrated against the Keithley and it reads the distortion very accurately, both the total harmonic distortion and the individual harmonics through the seventh. Go back to the vector display here and uh, could demonstrate higher currents. Take it up to six amps and uh, read 6.002. Take the angle up to 40. 50, so you read the angle very precisely, 70, go to 135, say, okay, and uh, 235, and it will read any angle within plus or minus 0 0.1 degrees or so, so developing the specs on it. Okay, now it will also go back to uh, the menu here. It will also do a clamp-on. as a clamp-on input. That's in case you need to use a clamp-on. You don't have a test switch or you want to compare two currents. So I'll go to V1I2. It says down here, you know, clamp switch is red. So that tells you which uh, way to face the clamp-on for that mode to get the angle right. And as you can see, I have to get it right in the middle, of course, because it, before it reads right. And the clamp-on is about a 1.5% device. I don't have it preci really precisely located. But you can see that the angle uh, and, the, and the amplitude is going to be about a 2% thing with the clamp-on. But other, other than that, it does the same as the... Uh, as the hardwire I input. You also have uh, V1, V2 where you have the two voltages and right now they're the same voltage but you can see they read the same number and there the angle error is very small because it's the same voltage. Okay also we have a kilowatt hour standard where it has a start time on the bottom and if it's connected to the internet it will this will be the UTC Greenwich Mean Time the start time and the current time and then the watt hours 
are, disp are displayed on there. So you can uh, turn the current off, hook up a, a kilowatt hour meter, start the current and note the aggregate kilowatt hours or integrated watt hours and uh, calibrate your, check, check the calibration of your watt meter. In this case, the watts is, going, is reading negative because it's, in the case of this particular angle, it's watts out. If I go to 30, it of course start going down because it's now watts in. But that's a uh, basic tour of this phase angle meter. The uh, price is 1450 and that's about the same price as a used phase angle meter from Mega or somebody like that. An old one like that's 20 years old and that doesn't even have the amplitude. All it has is the phase angle meter to tens of, phase angle to tenths of a degree. So you can see this is a uh, a very good deal right here. And uh, that's about the whole tour. Thanks for watching. And uh, something I've got the previous uh, part of the movie, I didn't show uh, the internet presentation. As you can see, it has an ethernet cable. It is a uh, internet of things and cloud capable device. And you can put it on your website for sake of test. I have it on cttestset.com, phase test.htm. And uh, right now I have V1, I1 selected. And the data is not only on the screen, but it's also on the internet in case you uh, wanted to watch it remotely or adapt it to a permanent installation or something like that where you could observe uh, the readings on your meter anywhere in the world. And so that's another uh, major feature of this machine right here. And uh, something I've got the previous uh, part of the movie, I didn't show uh, the internet presentation. As you can see, it has an ethernet cable. It is a uh, internet of things and cloud capable device. And you can put it on your website for sake of test. I have it on cttestset.com, phase test.htm. And uh, right now I have V1, I1 selected. And the data is not only on the screen, but it's also on the internet in case you uh, wanted to watch it remotely or adapt it to a permanent installation or something like that where you could observe uh, the readings on your meter anywhere in the world. And so that's another uh, major feature of this machine right here.